All right, folks, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty of this. We've gone through a full first-round mock on Monday. We did the Jets, Jaguars, Bengals, Cowboys, and now we're doing the Chargers. The other exciting thing about the Chargers is if you watch the video on Monday, links over here if you didn't, um, there was a trade for the Chargers as well, not just the Cowboys. So we're going to get another trade. This was also a trade back, so we're getting an additional second-round pick. In fact, I'll give you the details of that right now. The... Um, the Chargers moved back from 5 to 12, did a trade with the Broncos, who moved up to get Zach Wilson. And in return, the Chargers got their second round pick. I believe they gave up a fourth. I don't exactly remember, and it doesn't matter because it's a pick that we don't have. But we did get pick 43 overall, so we now have uh, picks 12, 36, 43, 69, 100, 133, 164, 188, and 197. So that's what we're going to be doing today. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Again, if you didn't watch the first round pick, make sure you do that because that's what this whole thing is built around, the first round mock. So go check that out. Come on back, and let's look at this Chargers mock. With the 12th overall pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the LA Chargers select Samuel Cosme, offensive tackle, Texas. Again, if you saw that video, you already know the pick. But this is, I, I would say if I had to pick the worst offensive line, this is it as I look at it. I don't know that you have one player along this offensive line that's any good. The highest graded, we're talking PFF grade of any player on this entire offensive line is Brian Balaga with a 62.9. If you didn't know, 60 is average. You've got two players, excuse me, three players that are average or better. Cole, uh, Cole Toner, 60.6. Storm Norton, who's taken five total snaps at a 62. And Brian Balaga at a 62.9. Everybody else is below average, bad, or just straight trash. Just looking at PFF grades. I'm not getting into the stats because it doesn't matter. I'm sure if you're a Chargers fan, all five of you already know that your offensive line is not very good. So here we are. With the 36th pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the L.A. Chargers select Jalen Mayfield, offensive tackle, Michigan. Again, massive issue. Don't really need to elaborate too much on that. Um, you know, we also have to take into consideration that some guys are going to be gone very soon. I mean, not only is it terrible, we're looking at Sam Tevy, uh, Forrest Lamp, Ryan Groy, Dan Feeney, and Mike Pouncey, uh, along with Cole Toner, the guy that I brought up that took like five snaps or whatever, all free agents, meaning right now, as we do this. Some of these guys may get re-signed, but uh, again, the issue is we re them so that we have some depth. We're paying money for really bad football players. On top of that, you're looking at Brian Balaga, who's locked up semi-long term, but the guy is currently 31 years old. So we're talking about next year, he's going to be 32 years old. If he took a massive step from best right tackle in football with the Packers down to being par at best, it ain't going up from here. Um, so we're taking two swings at tackle. We're probably replacing both of them. At, at, at worst, we got a new left tackle and then Brian Balaga, and we can coach the guy up. And by 2022, we've got two new tackles. That's best case scenario, but that's what we're shooting for right now. We got Sam Cosme at pick 12 and Jalen Mayfield at pick 36. With the 43rd pick in the second round of the 2021 NFL Draft compliments of the Denver Broncos, the LA Chargers select Jay Tufele, defensive tackle, UFC. You. Been a long day. USC, the UFC is a different organization. Um. <laughs> this is right now one of the worst uh, run defense teams in all of football. Obviously, Bosa can't do everything by himself. We need to get better, and we need to get better in the middle of this defense. Um, right now, if we look at the interior, uh, again, not a lot of quality guys. You got Damian Squire. I mean, how old is that guy? He was drafted in 2013, or he was undrafted in 2013. Currently, your top player and, and one of the only guys outside of Justin Jones that's any good at stopping the run. Justin Jones, a third-round pick in 2018. We haven't invested a ton in this defensive line. Uh, we've got, you know, th three guys, or excuse me, two guys in 2020, but they're undrafted free agents. So... We haven't put a lot into it. Obviously, we went out and got Linval Joseph, and that's cool and all that, but that's clearly not panning out all that well either. It's just not working. It's just not working. we got to get better. So we're going with Jay Tufele, defensive tackle, USC. With the 69th pick in the third round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the LA Chargers select Elijah Vera Tucker, offensive guard, also USC, not the UFC. 
Again, I, I hate to keep harping on it, but you know why I'm doing this. This is a terrible offensive line, and, and hopefully at the very least, I mean, who knows? Maybe we can have Balaga and cause me a tackle. We can kick Jalen Mayfield in for a year. You add in Elijah Vera Tucker. Maybe we can squeeze four good players out of this draft and have four competent offensive linemen. But again, when you factor in the fact that we just got a a quarterback, and there's, there's a lot of promising signs. I'm not saying he's an elite player, but given what he has to work with, uh, he has one top-tier wide receiver. Um, nothing super spectacular outside of that. I mean, a decent tight end. But you factor in the offensive line, it's, just, it's kind of a bad situation to be in. So we, we really need to help this guy out. So in the first four picks, we're taking three offensive linemen, and I don't know that there should be a lot of argument about that. With the 100th pick in the fourth round of the 2020 NFL Draft, the L.A. Chargers select Ronnie Perkins, edge rusher, Oklahoma. Obviously, I love Bosa, and Ingram and Bosa are a pretty good, solid duo, but Ingram is 31 years old, and I want to kind of look to the future a little bit. Um, there's not a lot of guys that are, there's not a lot of depth on this team at edge, so if we factor out Ingram, it's kind of just Bosa and, and not a lot else. Um, we do have uh, Nuosu, who's a decent player. He does a decent job affecting the quarterback, but that, again, that's it. So I want to get some 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 more play. I want to get another guy opposite Bosa, not named Ingram, because Ingram's going to be gone pretty soon. 2021 is probably his last year. So we're going to have Ronnie Perkins, Ingram, and Bosa for one year. Ingram's going to leave, and it's going to be um, Perkins and Bosa beyond that. As far as Perkins is concerned, he's kind of a boomer bust prospect. He doesn't have a lot of attempts, but we're talking about three games this year. He matted 16 pressures in 75 attempts. That's absolutely ridiculous, that, that pressure rate. So he's got a real big ceiling. Um, again, it's high risk, high reward because we haven't seen a ton from him. He wasn't all that great prior to this year in which he didn't play very much, but um, taking a swing off the edge. With the 133rd pick in the fifth round of the 2021 NFL draft, it's going, it's going fast. The LA Chargers select Merlin Robertson, linebacker out of Arizona State. Um, essentially what I'm looking for is a compliment to Brashad Perriman. I like Perriman a lot. He's a real good run defender, real just dominant, in your face, smash you in the mouth kind of linebacker. He's my kind of guy, but in today's NFL, you got to get a cover guy, and, and right now that's going to be Merlin Robertson. Um, again, fifth round, you don't want to get too much later. Also, the fact that he's somewhat one-dimensional is going to mean that it's more likely that it's going to be a hit. If he could do both, he would have been gone by the second or third round. Not saying that he necessarily can't, but again, that's my main focus right now is to go out and find that compliment, the guy that can cover in the middle of the, uh, of the defense, that can cover the tight ends, et cetera, et cetera. So with the 133rd pick, Merlin Robertson, Arizona State to the Chargers. With the 164th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the LA Chargers select Trey Walker, wide receiver, San Jose State. The amount of wide receivers in this draft, if your team needs wide receivers, it's just absolutely ridiculous because every time I'm trying to make a pick, all I see are wide receivers. And it's like, dude, I don't want a wide receiver. The bottom line is, though, we obviously have one elite wide receiver. We got a number two that's decent enough, but, I mean, it's kind of who's behind Allen. I, 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 I'm, I'm not sure how you feel about um, your, your number two, Williams, but I don't think he's all that spectacular. He's, he's definitely underwhelmed. Um, so we're, we're at the very least, we're going to bring in some depth and some competition, maybe just for the number three, since we're talking about a six-round wide receiver because there's a massive drop-off. Um, well, Tyron Johnson, I guess, isn't all that bad. But there's a pretty big drop-off after you get from one to two, from two to three, and then there's just nobody else. So we're going to add some depth. We're going to add some competition with Trey Walker out of San Jose State. With the 188th pick in the sixth round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the LA Chargers select Drake Jackson, offensive center, Kentucky. With the 197th uh, pick in the seventh round of the 2021 NFL Draft, the LA Chargers select Cameron Bynum, cornerback out of California. Similar to a lot of the other drafts that I've done so far, there must not be a lot of corners early 
because, again, this is a team that has just not invested a lot in cornerbacks, I mean, outside of maybe free agency and whatnot, but I'm talking young corners in the draft. And I know I'm not doing a lot in the seventh round, but I don't really want to go without drafting one. As I said, I think yesterday with the Cowboys or Bengals or somebody, I don't know who, um, it there, there are th this league is filled with undrafted free agent and seventh and sixth round corners that have broken out. So we're going to go with Cameron Bynum, cornerback out of Cal. Hopefully get a little bit of help at the position. That's going to do it for this installment of the Pack Daddy NFL Mock Draft Extravaganza with the LA Chargers. If you like the video, please like the video. Please subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any more mock drafts. There's also some Packers content. If for some reason you're into that and watching this, I don't know why. Um, otherwise, you have a good day, and I will catch you next time.